By the time you get to the science section of the ACT, you might be a little burned out on reading passages, since you've already completed the English and the reading sections. So I have some good news for you. On the science section, you'll want to minimize reading to spend more time on the questions. In this lesson, we'll talk about good reading strategies to help you gather accurate information quickly. The first strategy is to identify the type of passage that you're dealing with. There are three types, which are data representation, research summaries, and conflicting viewpoints. Let's start with data representation. As you can see here, these passages have minimal text in the introduction, followed by charts and graphs, which will contain most of the information you'll need to answer the questions. When you're looking at the charts and graphs, underline the units of measure, headings, and keys to make them easier to find again. With the data representation passages, you can usually skim or skip the introduction and head straight to the questions. Now let's look at a research summary passage. You'll recognize these passages because they feature experimental findings. You'll want to skim at least the first few lines of each experiment and look for details about how they're different. The last type that we're going to look at is the conflicting viewpoints passage. These require the most reading. Sometimes there aren't even any charts or tables to use. It's important to pay attention to the evidence presented from each scientist. Their hypotheses are usually stated within the first two sentences of their viewpoints, and you should underline the hypothesis and any other pertinent information to keep track of it. Remember, if you're running short on time, you can choose to complete this passage last because it'll take longer to finish than the other passages. Let's look at a real example and apply some of what we just covered. This passage provides a brief introduction followed by two tables and one figure. Because the passage is dominated by the tables and not text, we can assume this is a data representation passage and we can skim or skip reading the passage until after we've read the questions. If we skim the tables, paying attention to the headers, we'll know where to look for the data. Table 1 describes foliated and non-foliated rocks, and Table 2 describes source rocks and the resulting rock. Figure 1 shows types of foliation as visual references. The first question states, according to the passage, the source rock for marble is A. Shale, B. Sandstone, C. Limestone, or D. Granite. Skimming the tables, we see that the source rock is in Table 2. Then, look for marble in Table 2 to find its corresponding source rock, which is limestone. Choice C, we have our answer. That was an easy one, but if you're ever unsure, start by looking carefully for any answer choices that you can eliminate off the bat. Sometimes they'll include answer choices that aren't even mentioned in the table. Now, let's look at one that's a little more complicated, where you have to use more than one table. This question asks, which source rock's metamorphic result can be either foliated or non-foliated? F is shale, G is granite, H is schist, and J is basalt. First, we can circle the keywords source rock, metamorphic result, and either foliated or non-foliated in the question. To solve this, we'll need to interpret the data on tables 1 and 2. We circled source rock in the question, so let's start with the source rock column of table 2. Basalt appears twice in the source rock column, but results in two different rocks, schist and amphibolite. Now let's look for schist and amphibolite in Table 1. Schist is shown in the foliated column, and amphibolite is shown in the non-foliated column. So we can conclude that the source rock, basalt, results in both a foliated and non-foliated rock. So choice J, basalt, is our answer. Like I said earlier, you won't have to do too much reading in this section. Most of your work will be identifying what kind of question it is and where to find the answers to the questions in the data. Try out some of the hundreds of questions we provide throughout this course for some practice. And when all this is done, you can go back to reading whatever you enjoy.